guys, Alicia here from Study Collab. Today I'm going to be doing a little study with me and just work through my biology notes. So first things first, I'm just setting up some of my books. I have my class notes and my textbook and syllabus and just some stationery. To write the notes, I'm going to be using a Pilot Juice pen in 0.5 in black. And I just bought this recently, so I'm going to be testing it out for the first time. this page I just completed you'll see that I used a Pentel touch pen to write the name of the unit in brush calligraphy and then I took a fine tip side of a mud liner to write the topic name and number underneath that. The words that I'm pointing to now are all definitions which I decided to highlight the keyword with that same green mud liner. I don't always tend to use a ruler but today I decided to and I just went in with either a black pen or that same mud liner and underlined any key points. Here I'm using a pencil to draw the diagrams in and I didn't use a pen first because I just wanted to minimize my use of whiteout if I made any mistakes. So one thing you'll notice when I'm writing my notes is that I like to use one color for any highlighting and titles. So here I'm using the green mild liner and that's just because for myself I find that if I use too many colors it's sort of distracting and hard to differentiate any key points. However, with that being said, I will still use different markers to colour in the diagrams where necessary as I'm doing right now. One thing I wanted to make pretty clear is that if you're going to draw a diagram and take the time to make it look nice then make sure you're annotating it and labelling it in depth and that's just so it supports your material rather than wasting your time just drawing. For this page I tried something a little different so I drew the diagram really big at the top and then labelled each part of it with numbers and then below that I wrote each step of the process in a lot more detail and that's just so the writing wasn't all squished up next to the diagram and it was more clear and concise. For the most part, I like to draw my diagrams myself and that's just because it helps me retain the information better. But if the diagram's a bit too complicated or I just can't be bothered to draw it, then I'll photocopy the page of the textbook and then cut it out and stick it in as I've done at the bottom here. Those are all the notes that I've written for today, but I just wanted to share with you the notebook that I was using. It's called White Lines Notebook, and it's actually grey paper with white lines on it. And the really cool thing about this is if you download the app onto your phone, 
you can scan your notes in, onto your phone straight away, as I'm doing right now. So once the photo's been taken, they'll save onto the app. And then if you like to zoom in, I'll show you here, the quality's pretty good, like you can read the notes exactly how they are. And then you can save them into different stacks of notes. So here I've just saved them into subtopics that are on the syllabus. But I thought that was a really great way to just have an extra copy of your notes in case you lose them. But yeah. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment down below and subscribe to our channel for more videos. And we'll see you in our next one. Bye.